everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little shop my stash update for the month of april if you're new here hi my name is vivian i'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related and i want to make sure that all of the items in my collection are getting used and getting loved so i do shop my stashes every month and pick out some new products to work on every month so if that sounds like your preferred type of content be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already and let's just hop into it So if you're new to my Shop My Stash series, I first go through all of the products that I picked out in March and just do a brief little recap if I liked them, if I didn't like them. And then the second half of the video is going to be picking out new products and I will have timestamps linked down below for you guys if you guys would rather just skip to the new picks. So I had quite a few different products here. The first thing that I want to mention, I no longer have physically in front of me because I finished the product and that is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. I have been working on that kind of like on the sidelines the past couple of months now, a couple, more than a couple of months at this point because I felt like I was really close to finishing it and this past month I had officially decided to put it in my shop my stash and doing that I ended up finishing up the product it is now sitting in my little empties bin so I'm really excited about that I am really excited about finishing up a lip product even though it was a sample size I feel like I am not the type of person to finish up lip products unless they're like in my project pan and I finished it. So I'm really proud of that. I am glad that I was able to get a lot of use out of that. Yeah, I just, I cannot, I cannot believe that. The next item I want to talk about is this bronzer. This is from Rare Beauty. This is the bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul. So going into this, I knew that this bronzer was too orange for my taste. Because of my olive skin, I feel like bronzers like bronzer bronzers tend to lean a little bit too orange and I don't love that look so I did use this quite a few times but most of the time that I was using it I still went over with the powder bronzer that's in my project pan right now so didn't love this on its own I pretty much always went over top of this with something else but I do feel like I've flattened this out a little bit more than it was before so I'm glad I got some good use out of this I am gonna be putting this back and picking out a new product to work with but I am glad that I was able to use this for a little bit longer this formula is like really really creamy so it blends out really nicely it's just this tone is just too orange so I have considered in the past getting another shade they have a more cool toned shade I think it's bright soul no something like that but it is a more cool toned shade and I have considered getting that but honestly I have a ton of bronzers in my collection I do not need to be spending money on another one the next item that I had put in my shop my stash was this from Laura Mercier this is the caviar eye stick this is in the shade Au Naturel this is a little mini size of it but I have been mostly using this as like an eye base and a couple of times, most times I was wearing this actually, I was just using it as an eyeshadow. I feel like it is a really good pigment but it's like just a really pretty wash of color, nothing too intense and it is a little bit more cool tone so I feel like it just fit in with the blush and the lip combo that I was mostly wearing really nicely. To say it all day, I really like this, I think it was great. I feel like I don't get a ton of use out of my like matte shadow sticks like this so glad to put this in there glad i got some use out of it the next item i had in there is my tower 28 concealer this is in the shade mdr i love this concealer it's one of my all-time favorites it's really lightweight but it still has a really good coverage i think it's a great concealer i mostly had this in there for when i wanted a little bit more coverage than my merit the minimalist stick that is in my project pan i've been using that as like concealer and foundation and when I want something just a little bit more I usually go in with this. I like having it in there. It's one of my favorite concealers like I said. The next item I have here is this blush. This is from Colourpop. This is their pressed powder blush in the shade Prairie Air. I feel like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but I feel like there's like a decent dent in there. Pretty much used this every time I was doing my makeup. I was kind of surprised at how big of a dent there was in here. I think part of it is just because the formula itself is 
just like a little bit more loosely pressed so there is a bit more kick up but i think it's a beautiful blush i love the way this looks on my cheeks it blends out really easily it's nice and pigmented without being too pigmented so i don't feel overly blushed when i wear this either it's a great product great formula pretty inexpensive i got this at ulta and also this color is like it's my color you guys know i love the cool tone pinks so really really glad i got some use out of this and really glad that i can see like a, an actual dent in in the pan i feel like that just shows that i've been using it so much and have been loving it and the last item i had in my shop my stash for march was this palette so this is from unleashia this is the glitterpedia all of glitter eyeshadow palette i've been using this a ton whenever i pull this out i tend to gravitate towards the more like chunky glitters but this time around i was more gravitated towards like more of these like satiny duochrome shades so if you watched my march favorites video you'll know that this color down here this shade right here has been my favorite this past month it is so beautiful the reflect on it is so intense it really just makes your lids look like wet and i am wearing this palette on my eyes today i mostly went in with this top shade here just all over the lids and i feel like it has a really pretty effect really impactful like glittery effect but it's not a chunky glitter so i've really been liking this i am glad i had this in my shop my stash i pull that out every once in a while just because i love the unleashia formula it is really really easy to work with and i just i, I love me a good glitter topper as you guys know so those are all the products that i had picked out for march i'm gonna put these away and then we are going to switch over and pick out some new products for april so this drawer is all of my concealers, foundations, color correctors, and powders. I think I am going to pull out a, another concealer just to play around with. And I think I'm going to pull out... Um, let's do this one from Vive. It's the Modern Radiance Concealer. I have mine in the shade Medium 4. I think it's a really good concealer. It's a little bit of a thicker formula, but still blends really easily, has a good amount of coverage. So I'm going to pull this out for those days where I want a little bit more coverage. And this tone is slightly warmer, which I think matches with the Merit the Minimalist Stick that I have because it is just like a warmer foundation for me so pulling this out i'm not going to choose a foundation because i do want to make sure that i'm using my merit the minimalist as much as i can so i'm going to leave the rest of this drawer as it is this next drawer are all of my highlighters face palettes primers i am not going to pull out any other primer because I do have one in my project pan that I'm almost done with that I want to make sure that I'm using. And as far as highlighters go, I do have one in my project pan as well. So I think I am good on this drawer as well. This is the fun drawer. This is the drawer that takes up the most <laughs> time, space, um, all of the above. So I think I want to pull out a cream bronzer and I think the one that I want to pull out is this one from Makeup Revolution. This is their ultra cream bronzer. I have mine in the shade medium. It's just a really pigmented but really blendable cream bronzer. This shade is also not super orange on me which I appreciate and I think it'll pair well with the Nabla skin bronzing. So I'm going to pull this out. And as far as blush goes, I think I'm going to pull out a, another powder. And I think the one that I want to reach for is actually this one from Essence. This is Essence's The Blush. This one specifically is in the shade 40 Beloved. Um, I also have this Essence blush in the shade 20 Bespoke, which is like one of my all-time favorite blushes, but the packaging is broken and it gets really annoying traveling with it. So Although I love this blush, it is annoying and I prefer not to travel with it, which I do relatively often. So I'm going to pull out my Essence The Blush instead. I think that's good for this drawer. The rest of this is like cream blushes in a pan, cream and liquid blushes and bronzers, either in stick form or liquid form, and then most of my other like 
bronzers are over here. So setting sprays, I don't necessarily think I'm gonna pull out a setting spray, but I have been trying to make more of an effort to use them. I have a different setting spray that's not in this drawer. I have this one from e.l.f. This is the Sail Day Micro Setting Mist setting spray. I think what I am gonna do though is I'm gonna take this little mini of the Urban Decay All Nighter and just like stick this in my makeup bag and kind of have it permanently in my makeup bag so that when I am traveling, when I am like out and about, this will like solve that for me. But in terms of just like working on a setting spray throughout the days, I would rather just like pick one that speaks to me that day. I don't necessarily think I need to pick out a specific setting spray for my shop, my stash. So that is this drawer. And for eyeshadow palettes, I think I'm just gonna pull out my Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. This is just a palette of all matte, but they're really creamy mattes and they have like a little bit of a reflect to them. So they're really pretty. Palette is also nice and small and compact, which makes it very easy to travel with. So I'm gonna pull this out. You guys know that I am a huge like sparkle person. I love having a little pop of glitter. I think I'm gonna pull out this from M Cosmetics. This is their Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow. I have this one in the shade Moonrise. This is such a stunning, stunning eyeshadow. The only thing for me is that it creases, which doesn't usually happen with most of my other eyeshadows, but this one happens like often, like almost every time I use it. It is really, really pretty though, and I I want to make more use out of it, so I'm going to pull this out. And then everything else in here is just my brow products and eyeliners, and I usually only pick those out when I feel like I need them. I think for this month, though, I am going to pull out just this eyeliner from Flower Beauty, mostly for this rose gold side. I feel like this is a really pretty way to kind of brighten my eyes up a little bit without being too white, because I feel like some, like, nude eyeliners can look too in your face but this one matches my skin tone really well but it has like a little bit of shimmer in it which just gives like a really pretty effect so i'm gonna pull this flower beauty dual ended eye pencil out i said this before i don't typically pull out like lip balms and stuff in my shop my stash but i think i am going to because i finished this is on the wrong side because I finished up my Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey, I feel like I want to try and work on a, another lipstick just a little bit more. These aren't lipsticks that you are seeing. But in my little container up here, I think I'm going to pull out also this from M Cosmetics. This is their lip cushion. This one is in the shade Van Gogh, I believe. This is a really, really pretty formula. I currently have the... Remond something melting balm in my purse that has been my current purse lip product But I really like this and I think they're very similar in terms of tone color shine everything like that So I want to pull this out and get a little bit more use out of this as well These are very very pretty very pretty formulas and this is everything that I am planning on picking out for the month of April I think this is a really good haul. I feel like I have a good variety of different tones shades things like that so I am pretty happy with this. I am very excited to use the M Cosmetics eyeshadow a little bit more. I haven't used that in a while and it's so, so pretty. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.